Wow, <laughs> that is so impressive. Hey, it's Randy from Voices, and I'm an audio producer with over a decade in the recording industry, and today we're taking a look at one of the best, one of the most game-changing plugins for noise reduction in VoiceOver. The tool of choice we're taking a look at today is one of the new neural network offerings from Waves plugins called Clarity VX. So let's start off here with a little bit of a demo. I'm here inside the podcast recording studio at Voices, and I've left the door open because I want to sort of replicate the conditions that you may be experiencing at home with a little bit of constant fan noise, whether it's from appliances or your HVAC system. There is a bit of a noise floor in this recording, if we take a listen to that now. And I want to use this as sort of an example of a practical example of recording voiceover and how this tool can be used to uh, get rid of some unwanted background noise without adding too many artifacts to your recording. So let's go ahead and record a sample here. Since 2005, the biggest and most beloved brands have trusted voices to help them find professional voice talent to bring their projects to life. So let's go ahead and record a sample here. Since Wow, <laughs> that is so impressive. So this is basically removing all of the noise with one knob, which is fantastic. On the left here, we also have some settings. So there's different neural networks that you can choose from. So there's broad one, which is better for keeping voice detail. We have broad two, which is better for severe ambiences. So if you're recording a street interview and there's tons of traffic going by, it's gonna work really well for that. And then we have broad eco, which is a little bit of a CPU less intensive version, which is great if you need multiple instances of this being used simultaneously. But let's go ahead and keep this on broad one because I think this is the best for voiceover. And let's just take a listen here. So recording, if we take a listen to that now. Wow, even at 60%, it's getting rid of that noise floor entirely. There is a bit of a noise floor in this recording, if we take a listen to that now. Like I can even bring that down a little bit more. Let's try like 45. If we take a listen to that now. Wow, that's stunning. That's super impressive. Now you may be asking, how does something like this differ from something like the Waves NS1 or the Waves X noise? And that's because traditionally these plugins will work in one of two different ways. The first way is that it allows you to learn the noise profile. So basically you select a piece of the noise, you tell the program that's what the noise looks like, and then the program basically tries to remove that noise from the rest of the audio file. And the second way is using auto analysis, where it tries to determine in real time what is the noise and remove that from your signal. The trouble with both of these methods is that they both really only work well on constant noise. So things like uh, the computer fan noise or the HVAC system or constant humming happening from appliances down the hall. It's gonna work really well for things like this. Where they tend to fail is on sounds that tend to be a little bit more sporadic. So things like a uh, car horn outside or the changing in traffic slowly over time, keys dropping, anything like that that may be sudden and a little bit more random. It's really tough to teach the software what those sounds are. And that's where neural network plugins really shine. They're able to compare your noise profile against thousands of other noise profiles simultaneously to determine what's signal and what is noise. This is huge. Now you can always argue that the best recordings start with the best recording space, and of course that's gonna be true. What happens if you're recording in a space like this? It's absolutely not ideal for recording voiceover. We've got concrete ceilings, we have hard tile floors, and tons of appliances behind us creating a lot of background noise. I also happen to like playing with Velcro while I'm recording, so let's go ahead and record a sample here and we'll see if we can salvage it. Since 2005, the biggest and most beloved brands have trusted voices to help them find professional voice talent to bring their projects to life. We have hard tile floors and tons of appliances. Okay, so I'm gonna switch this over to Broad 2 so we can see how effective Broad 2 is at removing crazy amounts of background noise. Behind us creating a lot of background noise. I also happen to like playing with Velcro while I'm recording, so let's go ahead and record a sample here and we'll see. <laughs> this guy playing with Velcro. If we could salvage it. Since 2005, brands have trusted voices to help them find professional voice talent to bring their projects to life. You can hear we're kind of pushing it to its limits here. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit artifacty, but it's actually doing a pretty good job at removing the background noise. Obviously not the Velcro, but the, the appliance noise seems to be completely gone, which is great. I also happen to like playing with Velcro while I'm recording, so let's go ahead and record. Yeah. It's not fantastic. Let's try the broad neural network again here, and we'll see if we could salvage it. Since 2005, Interesting. Beloved brands have trusted voices to help them find professional voice talent to bring their project. So it's not perfect, as you can hear, but let's see how that compares to the built-in plugin here in DaVinci Resolve, just for argument's sake, just to see. Recording voiceover. We've got concrete ceilings, we have hard tile floors, and tons of appliances behind us creating a lot of background noise. I also happen to like playing with Velcro while I'm recording, so let's go ahead and record a sample here, and we'll see if we could salvage it. 
Since 2005, the biggest and most beloved brands have trusted Voices to help. Hmm. Interestingly, I think it's doing a much better job with the Velcro, but I think it's doing a worse job at creating artifacts. So it's it's maybe more effective, but less subtle. If you listen to some of the S's, they're starting to get really like kind of harsh. Since 2005, the biggest and most beloved the biggest and most beloved like brands have trusted Voices to help them find professional voice talent to bring their project. You kind of hear what it's doing with those S's. It's making them a little bit gross to listen to. If we compare that against the Clarity VX background noise, I also happen to like playing with Velcro while I'm recording. So let's go ahead and record a sample here, and we'll see if we can salvage it. Since 2005, you hear how those S's still exist. So this is doing a much more subtle job. In my opinion, it's much easier to listen to. Well, I'm quite impressed. I mean, obviously recording in the right space to begin with is gonna be the best thing that you can do, but I think that this is actually a very usable plugin for voice talent, especially for those who may have just a tiny bit of noise happening in their house and they can't quite get their noise down below that negative 60 benchmark. This is really gonna help do it with adding very few artifacts back into your recording. So it's harder and harder for clients to spot this type of noise reduction, still of course, recording in a quiet space is the best thing that you can do, but I'm very impressed. I think it's quite usable. So quite happy with that. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. As always, happy auditioning, and we'll see you in the next one.